Next, a dream marriage turns into a nightmare on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. The diamond ring. For many, the symbol of a loving relationship. But in the search for that perfect relationship, what are the odds that we will ever find that one soulmate who will make us happy forever? Yet sometimes we see a couple that makes us believe those odds can be overcome. Now, Stephen and Brenda were like that, young, attractive, hopelessly in love. When they got married, it truly seemed to be a match made in heaven. What are you, crazy? You could have killed me. Next time, don't duck and I will! Oh, that's it! I cannot wait to get out of this house and away from you. Not more than me marrying you was the biggest mistake of my life! You want to talk about big mistakes? We're a big mistake! Ah, if I ever see you again, it'll be too soon. Well, I've got news for you. I never want to see you again, even if you were the last man on Earth! Stephen and Brenda went their separate ways and stopped all contact. They didn't care about anything except being away from each other. Ironically, they picked the same place to move to. Los Angeles, the city of angels. But neither of them knew the other one lived there too. Each had to endure the challenge of every couple that breaks up, learning how to date all over again. Thank you. Um, thank you. Wow, this looks fantastic. It really does. You've done a wonderful job, Barbara. Brenda. <laughs> Best meals I have ever eaten. <laughs> I can't believe I finally met a man who knows how to cook a steak. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. And the vegetables? Uh -huh. I mean, it was like you just picked them from the garden. They were cooked perfectly. <laughs> and the wine. What is that? It's a uh, uh, Pinot Noir. <laughs> are you, are you? <coughs> I'm so, are you all right? <laughs> Pinot Noir. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes your song plays at just the wrong time. I think that we should uh, call, call it a night. It's getting late, and I got to get up early in the morning. Um. Uh, well, I, I <clears throat> I'd, I'd love to do it again sometime. Our next dedication is for two lovebirds, Brenda and Stephen, who didn't give their love a chance. So Brenda and Stephen, if you're out there listening, this is for you, because the two of you were meant for each other. Stephen and Brenda, it's time to make up. I want you to drop whatever you're doing and meet at the Santa Monica Pier in one hour. I must be nuts. She doesn't even live here. I know it will be better from today. Without the power of your 
Miranda! Steven! Brenda, I am so sorry. I should have never... No, no, it was it was all my fault. I, I have such a temper, and I, I should have tried harder. We both should have. It's like we have a second chance. We don't have to mess it up this time. You told the DJ to say on the radio. DJ? When? I thought you ain't had a vacation. No, I, I didn't even know you were living in LA. Steven! Brenda! Oh! So in the end, boy gets girl. But is it the right boy and the right girl? And just how many Stevens and Brendas were reunited that night? What really happened here? It wasn't simply that they heard a message meant for another Stephen and Brenda. Because when they checked out every radio station in Los Angeles the next morning, no one reported broadcasting any such message. But radio waves have strange properties. They can become crossed in the atmosphere, even be received in people's dental work. Maybe this was a broadcast from another city, another country. Or was it a communication from some other world altogether? After all, it supposedly took place in the City of Angels. Next, we'll find out which stories are inspired by actual events and which are fabrications on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. And our last story was about the divorced couple who were reunited by a strange radio announcement that some say was never broadcast. You are listening to Ricky Strong. Our next dedication is for two lovebirds, Brenda and Stephen didn't give their love a chance. So Brenda and Steve, if you're out there listening, this is for you. What's your judgment this time? Do you think a story like this could have happened? Well, it did. So how was your judgment tonight? Three of our plots were inspired by actual events, but the other two were totally false. Perhaps we've changed your perception of what is real and what is unreal tonight. Sometimes they're almost impossible to tell apart. And that's a strange truth. Good night. Join us next time on Beyond Belief.